morning, you guys. Welcome to Mocha Global Pounds. My name is Mo. And today we're going to be talking about the project that I actually fell in love with. We're still relatively early. Just eight. Right now, after like OK Bear doing like crazy with all their branding and stuff, I think we kind of shipped toward the branding back to the basic, more like Web 2 bridge you know web 3 and web 2 together just ape doing just that so that's why i'd like to talk about this project today and also a few other projects that i say pretty much related to this kind of concept not financial advice though please do your own research first always just ape as you can see right here they kind of do everything like clean basic just ape a collection of ten thousand apes that take us back to basics none of the fluff all of the value. Just meetups, just events, just merch, just a brand, just a comedy, just ape. Just ape. Let's have a look at their art, right? I personally think it is clean, it is cute, and just like they say, they just want it to like back to the basic and all that. This is pretty much one of my favorite ones. Pretty cute. Just eight. Normally in my videos, I would talk about the roadmap and what gonna benefit the holders, you know, but now since they don't have anything much out yet, they just released their mission. Pretty much what they say, they just want to bridge the gap between Web3 and Web2, right? So they're gonna do more things in real life. They want to share the belief in the power of Web3 and its ability to bridge gaps. And how they're gonna do that, right? First, they're thinking of the in real life event, both their own event and also the NFT events around the globe. Quality merchandise, the showroom, which they say like all the merchandise and the benefit, right, that they get is for the revenue stream so that they can do the long term play. They're also gonna have Just Ape Studios, which sounds kind of interesting to me, right? Just Ape. Let's talk about the team. Honestly, there's not much of the info on the team itself, right? But for what I can see that I've been with them like in the Discord and stuff for a week or something, I think they run things pretty differently and unique way. Here at Just Ape, they have no OGs. There's no such thing. They say it's beyond ridiculous, which honestly, I kind of agree with them, right? And also no grinding, no purging. All this sounds pretty cool to me and that actually got me kind of bullish on them and think they're pretty different than other projects, right? The scent announcement, they kind of show a few people that they just recruited, right? First is Ape Blink, I believe. Hi Blink is a creative unicorn with 10 years of professional experience in photo art direction, branding, creative marketing, working with global brands like Amazon, Oracle, and Target. Also, she's an accomplished illustrator with a stunning list of clients including NFL, Netflix, Amazon, Soho, Oprah Magazine. Brand ambassador which is Ape Danny, one of the most genuine, passionate and extremely pumped up individual in this space, if not the world. Danny will be representing Ape during spaces, podcasts, interviews, live and virtual events. Just eight. Comedy, you guys, quite active if you ask me. And also, they've been growing their numbers on Twitter pretty good. Just eight. 10,000 apes in total. We don't know the date just yet. And allowed list is almost a thousand right now, which means like those people whitelisted it, right? No purging, no nothing. So, if it's all whitelist mint, you still have a chance, like 90% chance to get in. But if not, I'm not so sure if it's gonna be like 100% whitelist mint or not, but hopefully not. So if people don't wanna grind for whitelist or not lucky enough, they still have chances. There are also a few projects that I think they pretty much have the same concept, getting back to the web 2 or at least kind of bridge web 3 and web 2 together. First, I'd like to talk about primates. I love their art a lot. As you can see right here, it's pretty different. Right. The thing is, there's not much of the info of this project out there. They don't even have the website up just yet. But same thing, this one they want to do fashion, music, entertainment, and all that seems like. They also say they have a pretty 
experienced team, right, comes together and building the successful brands in areas such as Amazon, streetwear, brands, social media and management for influencers. I myself haven't actually looked into the project that deep because there's not much of the info out there, but it's one of the hype projects that maybe if you have a chance or if you have time, just look into them. The second one I'd like to talk about is Cots or King of the Streets. They also have pretty much the same idea, Link Web 3 and Web 2, building all this brand and not just um, digital but also physical, which I love the idea. I have also made a video about King of the Street, especially just for them. I'm bullish on them and really excited for the mint. So if you'd like to check that out, feel free. Also you guys, I've got some alpha for today from one of the DAOs I'm in, right? They kind of categorize it to most hype, good mint, probably something and decent player, right? Into this and I kind of agree on most of the thing. But king of the street on the most hype right here that we just talked about, Prime. They also said good mint that I agree with and the just ape. I personally think it should be on the most hype already, how hype it is, how good looking it is. Let me know in the comment down below if you agree with this chart. Alright, hope this video is useful. Let me know if you'd like to know more about any other projects out there or what topic you'd like to know about Solana NFT. I would try my best to bring you good information, no show, no nothing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.